Hello and thank you for watching. Welcome to the maiden episode of Tea Time on Plus TV Africa as we launch on DSTV today, where we discuss the biggest entertainment news, lifestyle conversations, celebrity gossip, showbiz, and so much more. If it's not on Tea Time, then trust me, it's not big enough. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I've got my very amazing co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Benny Ark. Hi, ladies. Hello. How are you doing? How's it going? Congratulations and cheers are in order. Congratulations, hey. yeah. Cheers, launching on the TSTV channel. Yeah. 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 It's all right. Don't, don't, don't. No, <laughs> social distancing. <laughs> it's fine. It's great. <laughs> How is the social distancing going? Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm trying. I'm not hugging anyone as mm -hmm. much as I'd love to. I yeah. love hugs, but I think sometimes I forget, but I'm, 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 yeah, I'm doing okay. It was literally craving for my hug this morning. Oh yeah. my goodness, calm, calm down. down. Is that okay. why you two had to wear the same thing? Yeah, and, yeah I guess you know. we sent ourselves memo. Man. Mm. Yeah, you didn't get it. I tried to send uh, it to you. Yeah. <laughs> I love for how you so yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so on COVID-19, um, as much as we see what is going on, we also see how our celebrities are doing a lot on social media. And this time around, we're looking at Peter Okoye, who completes the house rent for one of his followers amid all the giveaways that he's been doing. So mm. this is amazing and yeah. kudos to him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Interesting again, the people reaching out to other human beings. I just, I just see it as our humanity. I mean, taking a front stage in, in all of this, what's happening. Um, no self entitlement. Like I told you two days ago, a friend reached out to me and he was really in a bad state, and mm -hmm. that really got me thinking. Like, wait, hey, I mean, people really have to talk. Yes, to send my you know? money. Um, okay, the last time I checked, I did say your, that the staff, your uh, your the staff house. of Plus TV Africa, are not eligible for that. I mean, what, what, what does that you, even you guys, mean? Are you, are you That's are you, called are you discrimination. Are you lucky? I am right starving. Now? <laughs> <laughs> I you know, live on tea alone. Look, your looks betray you. <laughs> 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 you know. So kudos to um, to your Koi brothers. They, they they've been doing great on yeah. Instagram with this their giveaway. Peter Paul. You know, I mean, Peter especially, um, who happens to be the subject of this discussion right now. Mm -hmm. you know, and so I just want to see more humans come out and yeah. show their humanity. Um, we all can make a little difference where we are and brighten somebody's corner. Somebody's going through worse than you, yeah. you are. And sometimes you don't necessarily give because you have too much. You give because you understand probably you've also been in a place of lack before mm -hmm. and nobody felt like not having enough. And so it's not always convenient when you have to give. You had to give from a place of lack or understanding that, you know, somebody needs this more than I do right now. And so kudos to all those who are reaching out and making a big difference to humanity at yeah. this very uncertain times. Yeah, I have to definitely agree with you, especially the last bit where I, I hope people don't start to think that it, giving is only for celebrities, you know? I, I don't think you have to have a lot to give. Even in your 5,000 naira, you can oh, give yeah. somebody 500 naira and that goes a long way for that person. So it's really good to practice that habit. Um, it's very easy to talk yourself out of giving. Like, guys, I don't have enough and, oh my God, I have my own needs and it's so easy to do that. But I hope that this effect that celebrities are are having on people spreads to more people um, yeah. and that we we start to give a lot more. Even away from COVID-19, there is a lot of need. Every time I look at the news that comes out from Nigeria with the lockdown, all you can see is people who really, really, really need help. Um, and that breaks my heart to see. So if somebody like Peter and his brother and a lot of others, there's a lot of people on this table um, are doing the good work, it's be, I mean, evil for me not to say that we appreciate them for doing that. I hope that other people follow, including myself. I like that you said giving is not just for celebrities and that would make me say that we need to understand that we talk about this giving that are coming from celebrities or influencers on social media because they have that influence. There are so many regular people that have gone out of their way this period to make sure that their neighbor, their friend, their families are doing good. So um, this is a strong time for everybody. It's really hard and even if you say you have too much, you know that the children you have, they are more than your biological children and you have to do it so kudos to everyone and I believe that we will come out of this one stronger. Yeah. Again, I want to say kudos to those also who are doing so much giving unannounced. Yeah. They really don't want to be known. They, they don't so want they don't want to be I mentioned. Know them personally, yes. So, so I want to say so we much. see what you're doing. Yeah. Don't, many of them will actually tell you, you know what, I don't want to be known. Don't mm -hmm. announce it. Yeah. Just do so. it. And then, so I want to say kudos to you guys also. We do recognize your efforts in this time. And times, God sees you know. your efforts. <laughs> right? <laughs> Benny, why? Why? <laughs> Benny. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> okay, moving on real quick to another story. Instagram comedian Sydney Talker shares results after getting tested for coronavirus. Um, well, the result says he's um, negative. However, some Nigerians believe he is a scam. He's facing a backlash as he has been accused of playing a prank on the Nigerian Center for Disease Control, NCDC. Um, so let's just 
just take some reactions from that. Um, at Moi GCF IO says, they tested you on the 24th, but you still came on the 27th, claiming that NCDC did not respond or get you tested. Can you see that this boy is very foolish? If he doesn't get punished for these plotted jokes, other clowns will follow his footsteps and do same. Hashtag Sydney fraud. So that's a hashtag that's been trending on his case. And a popular doctor on social media at Dr. Olufu Milayo says, someone came online to make a mock of doctors and health workers who risk their lives for the country not to collapse but i should leave him alone you people must be okay buffoons if you think i will let him rest you must be joking same hashtag at savvy renu says when we told his friends to rest yesterday and stop compounding the issue they insulted us and felt like realities wind have blow we have seen bomb bomb of chicken at mr lekon adigo says someone like sydney talker should be taught some lessons if every nigerian were to be an idiot or dim with like him um this crisis will last longer than we can imagine everything can't um, be jokes people's lives are at stake resources are scarce um bloody buffoon buffoon i think people are really pissed at femi dapson says please at police ng you should you need to get sydney Tucker arrested or whatever his name is he made a fool of hundreds of health officials working tirelessly to keep people safe he ridiculed them online and painted them as a bad organization um, so he has also come out to respond to that and he is saying that they should check, I'll go back to his thread, um, that um, you can see that NCDC is not mentioned anywhere in my test result. I had to beg them for my samples at loot to be tested that night so he's saying that he wasn't tested by ncdc that this is coming from the sample yeah. that was taken at loot so yeah. it seems so many people have decided not to believe him i don't even know what to think right now because what he was displaying that day it is amazing to see that he's negative with that display and how he felt so i think he needs to come out to let people know if he has underlying health issues because if you don't have underlying health issues and you suddenly have shortness of breath, then tell us what whatever test they ran on you gave you at the time. Because everybody was legit worried. I was worried for him. And I'm not saying he's lying. I'm just saying he can do better than just explaining the dates on the test results. That's all I'm you know, saying. If he has a test result showing and it's from a confirmed authorized hospital, mm -hmm. uh, I'm wondering in the life of me, what is the backlash about? Um, when that video first surfaced, did, did I, I didn't try, I didn't try to trivialize it because we were caught in the heat of a pandemic and mm. we're still in the heat of it. You know, and so one thing I hope people will not do, especially comedians who feel the need always to take, um, you know, life imitates art. But there's some things about life that are too serious, too critical, you don't, you don't, you don't joke with. And mm -hmm. COVID-19 is one of those. And I'm so glad that yesterday we didn't see so much of April 4 going on. Um, mm -hmm. Because that would have been you misleading people and giving false hope to people or causing more pain and panic for people if they had decided to go their usual way of making a joke out of everything. Okay. The video, I felt there was, there was, there was a little bit of over-dramatization by Sydney. Um, again, I like, nobody knows. People could react differently to, to Maybe to he things, wasn't over-dramatizing you know? and he was going through something, which is why um, I'm saying to properly clear yeah. the air, he should come out and tell us what was going on with him. I, so I, we, need, we need a word, we need a word. He said he, he did a blood sampling test from loot. So we need a word mm -hmm. from the authorities of um, the, the Lagos State University paper. Teaching Hospital. It's That's it. So let him say yes. We did test him, and the, the test result came from us. I think Lutz um, or the officials at Lutz are too busy to come and respond to things. I, mean, I don't think at this he's time. Go all the, okay, so this is my thing. I watched the live that he had, yeah. um, and it was very clear what was happening. There's people that have symptoms. Like I was saying, I was showing in the office that I had a friend in South Africa that was showing symptoms, yeah. real symptoms of corona of coronavirus, and she tested twice because mm -hmm. she's been in developed in a developed country. And it's negative. It's been negative so twice. What, I understand it. So I'm what, what, I'm trying to, to what I'm trying to say is that this guy could actually have something that was wrong with him that day. It could be a heart burn. It could be anything. I'm asthmatic. So God forbid I still have an asthma attack and I think that's he's okay. He's If he doesn't even have to be asthmatic, there could be anything that could give you shortness of breath. And again, mm. there's panic okay. in the air for goodness yeah. sake. I feel like if I'm going to did have an Did you watch that video? I did watch the video. Great. And I think that you can feel that way and be scared. People have flu and think that it's corona. I had a I thought it was coronavirus. Oh, yeah. Every, oh, every little I symptom. Have shortness of you're not, not wrong about that. that yeah. Every little symptom this day. I'm not saying I don't understand where you're coming from. I'm saying if you did not that. watch that video. He said in his live video that, that after he felt the panics, he wanted to get coronavirus whatever test tested yeah. he tried to do all that and he's not the first or second or third person that's saying it's hard to get the test done especially if you're not like critical right? shortage of kids so yeah, yeah. Kids okay. so, being critical. no 
he was having a panic attack. He wanted to get tested. He couldn't get tested. And he begged Luz, please take my blood samples. Check for something, anything, because there's something wrong with me. What is so, what is so bad about that? And then that? Luz decided to test for coronavirus. They, did you see coronavirus on there? This is, this That's is what he is it saying, that he's they, negative. He showed, you, yeah, he, showed, he showed you a blood sample. He, they showed you all the things that he, he tested for. They, Luz is telling him what they can provide. He's not saying that the NCDC said that. So the whole thing of like, oh, he held back the results and all of that stuff. I think people, you see, the truth of the matter is that this man's joke offends me all the time. Actually, I'm not trying to um, um, defend him. It's even suckish that I try, kind of believe him because I don't like his jokes and I think he can be part of the people who don't have that career and that joke in, anymore, to be very honest. <laughs> but this is a very human thing, I have to say. It is okay to panic. It is very common. You're the one that I was saying yesterday that people are even dying from the from oh, panic, from panic how would you yes, not think yeah. that shortness of breath is not gonna but yeah it might be like it could be i don't know but from what i have seen and yeah. the receipts that he was showing on his life from the messages to the phone calls to the end this like there were too many receipts that he brought so if you choose to not believe him i mean i mean i mean, I mean it's I can't for me right now it's not even a matter that. of believing or not believing Sid, um, sydney talker right i like he has a test result from loof and so why is the backlash? Well, I need to remind you what the problem is or yeah. why the backlash came. Yes. I'm not, I'm just giving you the proper picture, yes. right? The backlash came because when this dramatization happened on um, Twitter or social media, let me put it that way, it was on the 27th, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, yes. it was on the screen. I think 27th. The, the, the disparity, but the when the, the, in the, the, the test the, result and the date. Saying, the test was, I think, started on the 26th on or thereabouts. On the 27th, about. he was talking about N NCDC. The result is not from NCDC, guys. Okay. It's not. There's no, right. there's no correlation I just hope, to that. I just, hope, I just hope um, whatever was wrong with him, um, he's, he's gotten fine better. Now. <laughs> and I'm saying, I'm not saying I believe him or I don't believe him. I'm saying if you were in that state that we saw the video, everybody was worried. I mean, that post got garnered about 22,500 comments. People were really worried for him, right? Mm -hmm. That situation. Now you don't have coronavirus. I'm so happy for you. Thank God. But what was your problem? Just come out. Okay, what if it was panic Simple. attack? You know, that, that, that's, 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 that's a possibility. Simple. Now, that's it. That's a possibility. Don't just because, come out and tell us, oh, you know, I tested that it's not negative. Let's just watch move life. on. Really? You know, also, this is what you I, brought this us what I, all feel, right? into your life. I get, so I get, we have I get the right to angle. ask questions. You know, because at the end of the day, people react to, to situations differently. Very I mean, differently. People's, and we need um, to allow that. People's mode of reaction is pretty much different. But again, I'm saying, in the life of me, because of the I said it there on the show that day this came up. Like, in the life of me, I might have taken Sydney seriously. I might not have taken him seriously because of his persona. Mm -hmm. You know, like you already said. I mean, People Sydney, start thinking about yeah. their professions because... You know, mm -hmm. Sydney's one of those persons who actually I feel when, when he puts out a lot of jokes that, you know, I mean... Does not make sense. Um, oh, wow. Most of the time, it's, it dehumanizes the mains, the, the female, the female yes. folk. And I find that pretty much offensive. Very. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I won't trivialize what his experience was and probably it could be a different case. Like she rightly said, it could have been something else, not necessarily because, um, not necessarily coronavirus. But because... Coronavirus was the in thing, and still is the in thing. Thank you. Everybody will be prone to think, okay, this yeah. could just be me reacting. This it's, could be a it's symptom. It's the in thing you know? that some people are hiding their test results, though. So it's like, I mean, okay, I think it's time for a quick break. But when we return, there is so much more to discuss. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Baba? Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, what? Sleeping early. Sleeping early. This is still tea time on Plus TV Africa. Joining us on the show, we have Nancy Sime, an actress, TV host, I mean, show host. She does a whole lot of things. And she'll be telling us what her lockdown routine is like. Hi, Nancy. Hi, how's it going? Fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How is life being locked down? Well, it's cool. 
okay. have no problem with being alone. Mm. Like, so what's your routine like? How are you coping? Um, I guess we work out. I have some scripts that I'm reading. Um, we just wrapped up production for the Nancy Timmer show. So I'm in post-production. So I basically that is reading scripts, working out, eating, working a little bit with the show, with the upcoming projects I have, music projects. Um, what else? Sleeping a lot and like calling and disturbing all my friends. You know how we always say we're too busy, so we can't really keep up. But I've had time to really like catch up with most of my friends and talking. So I'm I'm fighting. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Are you eating a lot as well? Of course. <laughs> okay, Benny. All right, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hey, what's up? I'm all right. Now, I, I know I know for you, you, you're pretty busy. You're a pretty busy person um, from set to set. You're up and about in movie locations and all that. I'm just wondering, mm -hmm. and also you, you're, a workout, you're a workout buff just like myself. W what's been the most difficult part for you in this lockdown? Um, to be honest, I'm very cool. Like, I'm very cool because even on my own, sometimes I could break off, break off work. I could take a two week or a one week break of work where I don't really go anywhere. I don't handle projects. I just rest. And before this project, uh, before this um, isolation and this lockdown, um, I was on a project. I was on back to back projects for these two to three months. So I'm happy to rest. I, I don't think there needs to be a coping mechanism because I'm not really like a party party person. I like to work. So. Yeah. Okay, and I don't really like hanging out like that. That's fine. You, you wear really been, I can work out in my house. I'm working from home. All production um, outfits are closed down, so there's nothing I can do about that. I have to wait till it's over before I can get back to filming. And um, yeah, basically, I'm good. All right, you, you were the last AMVCAs, and what was your reaction yeah. like when the news came that somebody um, at the AMVCAs? Um, reportedly was was COVID-19 um, pos positive. How, what was your reaction to that? Knowing you were at that, you were at that venue. Well, to be honest with you, I was a bit concerned at first. I don't know if I've had any contact with the person, but the person could have had contact with other people who had contact with me. Yeah. I was at the after party, you know, everybody dancing, people wanting to touch you, take pictures, people wanting to hug you. Um, which I, I never for one refused, you know? So when I heard about this, I was like, okay, I hope, hopefully I, I didn't get anything. <laughs> but I continued about, you know, the minute it came back, when it was confirmed, initially it was all rumors, or somebody was sick, we're not sure if the person had contracted the disease, you get. Yeah. But like when it was now confirmed, I think that was on Tuesday, and they asked everybody to um, all the AMBC attendees to isolate. I immediately just I was on a project. I called them and told them I couldn't come back on set mm. that I had to protect myself and also protect them from me. And um, as I then it was, I think we we're waiting for Saturday. Saturday was going to be fourteen days with the work for it. Uh, hi, Nancy. So <laughs> Saturday I realized I was okay and everything was fine. great. Hi, Nancy. Uh, this is Ife. Hey. Uh, it's awesome hearing you're, you know, doing okay with the lockdown. Not everyone can say that. So for those who are out at home a bit, you know, uneasy and restless and maybe don't know how to cope with it, what would you, I guess, advise for people? Like, what would be the tip you give them to be able to just, like, be able to handle this lockdown? Um, first things first, worrying will not really solve anything. Um, the earth needs to heal. Things need to happen. Uh, so the first thing you can do is adapt, heal. We go out every day, we hustle every day. It's time for us to just sit back and relax and take a break, take a break. I know there's business money, but worrying will not take you anywhere. Just work out, eat, relax, enjoy the break. When all of this is over, we can get back to reality. For now, relax. Thank worrying you. will solve nothing, absolutely nothing. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Nancy, for thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for being here. All right, um, moving on to the next story. Music producer and songwriter Sam Clef has revealed that he took a break from music industry to go find money. He said, "Money without fame, na depression." I know if they follow artists, they work out and they sleep for their house. Mm. Okay. Is I mean, the that's, that's the hard that, truth right there. Really? I mean, that's the hard truth right there. Um, and it, again, it still, it still depicts and the imbalance in, in the industry, mm -hmm. you know, where people who put in so much of their craft in making sure, because for a long time, and still it is, what we actually vibe to in our songs are the beats, mm -hmm. the instrumentation. Um, lyrically, we still have a, a great work to do when it comes to our lyrical content musically. And to think that those who are behind, you know, the beats, the instruments we all, we all vibe to, we all dance to, I'm not necessarily making as much as the artist would. Hmm. You know, it, it strikes me of, of an imbalance. And to think of someone like Sam Clef, if you remember Sam Clef hmm. too well, he was buying the production of Whiskey Starboy's album. He, like, it's, if, if, I'm, if I'm correct, about 90% of that, of that album was, was produced by Sam Clef. Hmm. You know, and then he went on to produce some other people also who were big at that time. And to hear him say this, hmm. um, there's still an imbalance in the music industry yeah, that I needs agree, to be looked into. I agree into. with you. I agree that there is an imbalance. I think we've had that conversation on this yeah, table over and over again. And I also know that some of these producers have now understood the business yeah. and are putting it into their craft right now so i think every one of them the producers because, on the beat is one of those i mean every one of them need to go back to understand the music business understand what their um, uh, um caught is in the pie and make sure yeah. they take it with yeah. boldness because they are the driving force of whatever music mm. we listen to right now so I, I i'm not comfortable with the idea of the artist living an awesome life and then the producer is just there i mean it has to be living off the artist you, you know so I, i'm not living comfortable with that house. so I, I think they all need to educate themselves um as much as he can come out to say um he needed to leave the industry to make money there are people that have made a lot just being in the industry yeah. and not doing anything else so learn the business of um, whatever your passion is and don't let yourself be exploited i think our industry has gone to that point where you can be better for yourself i had some few interactions with people who are producers and i guess you can call them like upcoming you know mm -hmm. my guys i'm uh, just asking like why do you think that would be and stuff um they were saying that if you're eating directly from music it's not that much money yeah. that the reason why artists uh look like they have more money isn't because isn't necessarily from their music because they have faces that are out there they get endorsements and things like that and that what is also what helps Helps them, but produce, yeah. But producers don't really have those other alternatives. So when it comes to the music that they're producing yeah. and the generation that comes from that directly, it's actually not a lot, even for the artists. But they also the, have to learn to diversify, which is why I said the the business of yeah. whatever craft yeah. you are in. Because the size you mentioned, he's not just sitting and producing, and he's doing collaborations. Yeah. I mean, he has the album with and which is what Sam Clef so is doing. I mean, we don't things. know what the part time job is or yeah. like the side. I guess his side also wasn't so side, and he had to do it like full time. Wow. But um, I, to me, there's nothing wrong with get your money fam like if you want however that, you want to get it just yeah, get it definitely. Yeah, because then you begin to bring people in, in view internationally people in the likes of timberland i mean he, he made he is a, is a millionaire and he made that off production it's a different people concept like though. DJ, they don't have that DJ much piracy Harris, there you know and they I mean? don't have yeah. they don't have all, most Those of the issues of the that we have we should look into yeah, yeah. piracy is like the, the producers. biggest thing for entertainment yeah. industry i know that for a fact unfortunately we have to go right now oh. but um we'll definitely be back thank you for watching tea time on plus tv africa and you can join the conversation by using the hashtag tea time on social media or twitter at us at plus tv africa also catch this conversation all over again by visiting our youtube channel and please do subscribe watch tea time on auto tv and in london on ben television thank you as always to go to my amazing co-anchors ife omai and beniak and the entire production team thank you for watching tea time my name is elsie godwin do stay home and stay safe